Hello, my name is Chad Baker. What kind of shape do you think about when you hear about MP3 players? A big screen? Or playing videos? Actually, those are too large for MP3 players. Here is a real MP3 player, the U4. As you all know, the U4 is a new model after the U3. The new U4 looks like the U3, but it has many different points. Except the new design, it has similar parts, like the internal USB port, as well as hold, play, and user buttons. So when you turn it on, there are lots of new things. A logo appears on the screen, and the main menu comes out. The U4 has touch buttons, the same as the U3, so it has a quality look. Also, it has an intuitive interface. Four arrow buttons, select, cancel, and back buttons. Hold, user record, and power play buttons are on the upper side. You can set the user button for section repetition, DNSE, play speed, or play mode. On the bottom of the body, there is a switch for hiding the USB port. Pulling like this, the USB port comes out. Data is transferred through this USB port. The menu has six sub-menus, and for the selected sub-menu, you can see what's what very easily, like this. Let's look into each sub-menu. In the music menu, you can play MP3 files by tags or folders. It supports playing music by a playlist also. It shows new files and recorded files separately. This is the music play screen. An album art function is supported like this. The one inch OLED screen is small, but it shows clearly in four gray colors. As I've already mentioned, repetition, DNSE, play speed, and play mode are managed by the user button. In the FM radio menu, there is a manual and a preset mode for listening to the FM radio. Recording radio is very easy. Just hold the record button and hold it again. There are more detailed settings for the radio under the setting menu. The Datacast menu can be used by the bundled Emodio software, like the podcast. In the voice record menu, you can record your voice easily by using the U4. While you are using other functions, the voice record can be started just by pressing the record button, so you can record at any time, so easily and instantly. Testing, one, two, one, two. With the file browser, you can choose and play the music file you want. You can add it to your playlist too. Of course, you can delete it as well. In the setting menu, you can configure many functions of the U4. In the music menu, you can configure various EQ settings with the sound effect menu, DNSC, play mode, play speed, skip interval, and other settings are possible. In FM radio, you can configure many FM radio related functions. The user button setting is also available here. You can set the function you want using selection repetition, DNSE, play speed, and play mode. In the screen configuration menu, you can turn off the screen or choose various screen savers. You can configure the front LED too. The U4 looks exactly like an MP3 player by its appearance and its performance is brilliant also. It has nice audio quality using DNSE as well as merits like voice recording and radio recording functions. It's really great to transfer data and can be charged with its internal USB port. I expect the U4 will do well in the entry-level MP3 player's market with its nice sound quality and good portability. I am Chad Burton. Thank you.